Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is October the 5th of 2023 and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord this morning. As this is my second day back at posting prophetic word on this channel, I thank you all for your encouraging comments, for your welcomes back, and I thank you all for your prayers. I would like to share with you my personal challenge with health issues I have been dealing with. I'm sure many of you listening today are also struggling with health challenges. And in this journey with the Lord, we are all learning how we need to take hold of the benefits of being in Christ. This word I am sharing today is in response to my sitting with the Lord and petitioning Him for answers to the questions I have regarding my healing. Over the last year, I have struggled with arthritis in my hands and arm, and just recently in my knee. Yes, I know that this is a common ailment to many, and as we have been told to us as we grow older. However, the Lord has been speaking to me regarding my position on being healed and my faithfulness to pursue him for my healing. I am sure many of you today will be able to relate and I pray this word today will bless and encourage you if you are struggling with health issues. This word is titled Healing is Available. I'll begin by reading scripture. Malachi 4 verse 2 But for you who revere my name, the sun of righteousness will rise with healing in its rays, and you will go out and frolic like well-fed calves. Psalm 103 verses 1 through 5 Praise the Lord, O my soul, all my inmost being. Praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Matthew 9 verse 35 Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and sickness. Mark 5, verse 34. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. Acts 3, verse 16. By faith in the name of Jesus, this man whom you see and know was made strong. It is Jesus' name and the faith that comes through him that has completely healed him, as you can all see. Matthew 8, verse 17. This was to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet Isaiah. He took up our infirmities and bore our diseases. 1 Peter 2, verse 24. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. 
by his wounds you have been healed. James 5 verse 16 Therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Matthew 18 verses 18 through 20 Truly I tell you, Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, truly I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three gather in my name, there am I with them. As you can see in today's message, I have quoted several scripture references. As I waited on the Lord and searched out the scriptures, the Lord led me to his promises regarding our healing. His heart is to free us from suffering. And so, yes, he forgives our sin but he also heals our diseases. In these scriptures, the Lord is encouraging us that it is by having faith in him and what he accomplished on the cross for us regarding our healing that we can and will be healed if we have the faith to believe. And the Lord encourages us that he does hear our prayers, our fervent prayer, as we pray for one another. I'll begin reading this word. Expect greater things. Expect the miracles you have asked for, says the Lord. I do not deny my people. I look for opportunity to hear my people cry out to me for help. When they do, I come through for them. Yes, I know there are many who have given up, who refuse to call out to me because of their disappointment. They do not understand that I expect them to be persistent, not to give up, but to contend continually for their freedom. The fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. I expect my people to fervently seek me, not with a casual attitude, but with vigor. It is time, my people, for a great movement of my spirit, but it will come when my people fervently pursue me, when they set aside their doubts, fears, and indecision, and are single-minded, says the Lord. It is a test. May my people pass this test to gain their freedom. My will is that my people prosper and be in good health. Do you believe this? Or have you been deceived by the enemy, led to believe that sickness and disease is to be expected in this life? This is the question I ask you on this day. You live in the world, but you are not of the world. The world tells you to accept the work of the enemy in your life, to resign yourself to it without a fight. You have rationalized that it only makes sense that you experience affliction in your body as you age. You have bought into the ways of the world and have not weighed them against the word of God. You have not made an effort to search out the scriptures to learn of the provision made for you through the finished work of Christ on the cross. Yes, subject to the laws of the world, decay is inevitable. But I have overcome the world 
and its dictates. I have made a way for abundant life, health, and prosperity, says the Lord. I told you that if you believe, you would receive. So the battle is in the mind. Let me refresh you with my word. Let me instruct you in the truth. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But I came to give life abundant. So you see, you have a very real enemy who opposes you to steal abundant life from you. Your weapon against the enemy is the word of God, the truth of my word and my intention to bring life and not death and destruction. These things are not of me. They are the works of the devil. There are two kingdoms, the kingdom of the world, which is in darkness and ruled by the devil, and the kingdom of God, of which you have become a citizen when you were born again of the Spirit of God. You no longer belong to the kingdom of darkness and are no longer under its jurisdiction. I have called you out of the darkness and delivered you from its hold. However, the enemy is a liar and a thief and will continue to oppose the truth, attacking you with his weapons to afflict you. But... I have given you a way to ward off his fiery darts, says the Lord. I have given you weapons to resist the devil. Take up the sword of the Spirit and the word of God and do battle in the spirit realm. In this word today, the Lord is challenging his people to rise up and put up a fight against the enemy to take back the freedoms the Lord has bought for us with his death and resurrection. The Lord is encouraging us to be fervent in our prayers, not to give up, but make a consistent continual effort to take back the ground the enemy has stolen. The Lord is telling us that we have been deceived by the enemy, that we are believing his lies, and instead of standing on the truth of God's word, we have been swayed to accept what the enemy has thrown our way. The Lord tells us, that it is the way of the world to believe that sickness is acceptable. And so we submit ourselves and subject ourselves to the rule of the devil. The biggest battle we face is in our minds to believe that the Lord wants us healed and whole, that he has made provision for this through his death and resurrection. And that, though we have to fight for it, because the enemy continues to bombard us and afflict us, that we can have the victory, that we can receive our healing. And so the faith to believe for it is instrumental. I don't know about you, but I have truly struggled to believe that the Lord wants me whole and that I can receive my healing by contending for it and not giving in to the enemy. The Lord is bringing revelation in the area of healing in this day and I believe the Lord is wanting his people to embrace healing, to have the faith to believe for it, and to stand up to take hold of it. I hope this word today has encouraged you. My prayer is that we all come to a full understanding 
of what the Lord has done for us and how we can access it through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for listening today. Have a great afternoon and I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Be blessed. Bye for now.